Hey everyone, I am just sitting inside um, New Market here, just almost home, and um, it's my last run of the of the year for turkeys and chickens. So um, I had to mismatch last night because it was cold. Um, the crates, um, if you can see behind me here. I wanted to film this before um, before they A, got frozen and B, uh, before it got too dark. It always ends up it gets too dark before I can film it. I had bad winds all day and all I had was that freaking flap flapping all freaking day. Um, for the tin on top, I had side winds and it was blowing the whole day and luckily it didn't rain. That's the only thing I can say I got lucky with. But we didn't really have our operations set up for doing turkeys this late in the season. So it's a little difficult to keep them from getting rained on because what happens is, is anytime I go get something processed, I have to leave really early in the morning. And anybody that's moved turkeys or chickens, sometimes it doesn't go to plan, even anything, any livestock, sometimes it just doesn't go as planned. So I like doing it at night, the night before. The problem being, if you have to leave early enough, you have to do it late in the night so that you can at least have it done and uh, they're not sitting in the crates too long. So I used to, in the summer, you can just leave them on the box of your truck and it's fine, right? Nothing will happen. But in the winter, they get cold. So I threw some straw inside their pens or in their little crates here to try and keep them warm and then put a tarp on top but I couldn't really put them inside which I would have liked so I kind of left that till the end so I kind of packed them at about 2 a.m and then that way they only had a couple hours before I left uh, got them processed in uh, Norwood and then came home and uh, yeah so that was the plan that was the day nor I like putting them in a barn. I just don't have access to one and I hate I was gonna put them inside and then just pick them up with the loader But I realized really quickly that I couldn't back my truck into the barn door It was too narrow and pick him up with the loader while the turkeys was on was a little bit difficult because they're not The best of construction so it doesn't slide on on the one crate So it was just easier to throw them on and uh, call her a day put the tarp on top and make sure there's straw under them and they're fine. I'm just extra cautious. I like to make sure that they stay warm and stay healthy. I don't want anything to happen to them. You got that much time and investment and the quality. I don't like losing quality over it. So that's what happened today, guys. Um, I haven't done too, too much. Um, I was hoping I, because it was a nice day, this is the only nice day I'm going to have for probably the next two weeks. I was going to finish that barnyard and then work inside the barns, but I didn't get back in time. It's almost dark. I still got to basically catalog these in um, my numbers, catalog my weights and put them in the freezer and then sell them to my customers and let them know the weights. So that's kind of what I got to do yet tonight. And by that time, it'll be dark and I won't be able to do anything. So that's it, guys. Take care. Keep farming. Keep having fun. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, when they process them, they have to cool them down to a certain temperature. So I have to wait around a couple hours to get them to a certain temperature before they can go. So they are fresh. So if you ever do get them processed, sometimes you have clients that like them fresh and would like to chop them up. Um, I usually let those people know that day so that they can just pick it up and then that way it doesn't get frozen. Because it takes a little while for a turkey to thaw. Chickens aren't bad, they're only about a day, but turkey will take like two days. So thanks for watching guys. Take care, keep farming, keep having fun.